Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Boston and I am a concert photographer based in LA, but we are not talking about concert photography today. We are talking about the difference between the Camp Snap camera and the Paper Shoot camera. Now I have owned both of these for quite some time. This one a little over probably three months and the Paper Shoot I've owned for a little over a year, maybe even two years. I did a lot of videos about the this back when I got it and I still carry it around and still use it with me. But since I recently bought the Camp Snap, I wanted to compare the two and tell you guys about them in case you're interested in purchasing one or the other and want to see the difference. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about with these cameras is the physical difference in their modes. Both of these cameras turn on with just the shutter button. So with the paper shoot, it's just this button on the front and the cam snap, it is this button on the top. That is how these turn on. The only other options of modes that you have with these cameras is that the cam snap has a flash and the paper shoot has color modes. So you only get one kind of type of look type of image with the cam snap, but you do have the option of using a flash. While with the paper shoot, you do have these three color modes on the back. So here you have a kind of full vintage color. You have a black and white. You have more of a like, greenish tone and a bluish tone. All of these are very cool looks, but this does not have a flash with it. If your whole point of buying one of these cameras is to get that harsh direct flash look of a disposable camera, you will get that with the Camp Snap Photo camera. You will not get that with the paper shoot. If you're looking for just kind of a vintage, really cool nostalgic look of like a film type, but you don't really care about the flash, you can achieve that with both of these cameras but the paper shoot will give you more options. It really depends on the outcome of what you're looking for with your photos, if you want that flash or not. And that's really the deciding factor for using these cameras for me. I love the images that come from both of these cameras, but if I am looking for a disposable look with a flash, I have to go with the Camp Snap. Now, I took both of these cameras out to Joshua Tree to try and see what they would look like in that setting. And I tried to shoot around sunset and when it was getting dark to kind of put these cameras through a pretty tough lighting setting. So you're not always gonna be in a bright sunny day. You might be inside at a party. And I wanted to try these cameras and see how they hold up in kind of that darker setting and what the images look like. As much as I love the variation that I can get with the paper shoot camera, I find myself more drawn to the photos from the Camp Snap. There is something about the warmth of the photos that I just really like. And even though they're grainy at the end of the night, I think that it gives me a more nostalgic feel that I was really fond of those photos when I was looking at them side by side with the paper shoot camera photos. Quickly, I wanted to mention the size of the photos as well. Both of these cameras just shoot JPEG photos. So that is what you're downloading. That is what you're getting when you take these photos. But the paper shoot camera photos are actually a little bit larger. So it really depends on kind of like what you're looking for when it comes to me posting these on social media, saving these on my phone just for fun. Like the size doesn't really matter to me, but I am listing here a little bit of the differences in the image quality itself. Okay, the other thing that I wanna talk about is the field of view and the viewfinders of these two cameras. I actually found myself more drawn to the paper shoot when I was comparing these. The reason for that is the paper shoot has a little bit wider of a lens or a field of view. So while I'm looking through the paper shoot camera, it looks a little bit further away, a little bit wider. I do really enjoy that. The cam snap was just a little closer up. This was really noticeable when I tested them side by side. I put up 
a piece of paper on a wall and just look to see what the viewfinder showed me versus what the pictures turned out to be. Even though the viewfinder in the camp snap is literally just a hole, this one seemed to center a little bit better than the camp snap. Camp snap, I did put this in my other video that when you are looking through the viewfinder, you are shooting below what you are seeing through the viewfinder. The same is true for the paper shoot, but since the paper shoot has a wider lens, you don't notice it as much. It is very exaggerated to me when I'm shooting with the cam snap. So it's just something to keep in mind when shooting with both cameras of how cropped your photo is going to be, what that's going to look like, because they are different fields of view. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the price of these two. The paper shoot camera is almost exactly twice the price of the cam snap. So that is a pretty big deciding factor for both of these cameras. When I don't see too, too much of a difference when it comes to quality and the look and feel of them. I purchased the cam snap after I had the paper shoot because I wanted that flash. That was the deciding factor for me. And I don't regret this purchase, even though I'm not overly, overly fond of all of the images that I've gotten from it. I do really still love this camera and I do love it for photographing people with that flash. When it comes to the paper shoot, I think that this is really fun for the variety of images you can get with their filters and taking this out during the day. But for the $125 price point, it is just a little too much for me. It is really expensive when you're considering both of these toys. That being said, I think both of these are great alternatives to having a film disposable camera that, you know, you just want something that is digital, that you can download the photos later. You want something different than an iPhone photo. These are both very fun little toys. Um, I think that the Camp Snap is perfect for giving it to kids. I think it is great for using at weddings if you or parties if you want that like flash look. I think that the paper shoot is a really fun fun to bring when you're going out somewhere like a festival or in a daytime event and you're a little bit older because this one seems to be less sturdy than this one if I'm quite honest with you. It does also have like open components so you don't necessarily want to bring this out like hiking or camping. I, it can just get dirtier faster. But if you're at a daytime event, I think that this is really fun, but I think that this one might last you a little bit longer if you're a little bit harder on your cameras. So at the end of the day, I don't really have a recommendation for you of one over the other. It really depends on what you're looking for from a camera. Um, but I continue to love both of these. I will say that the Camp Snap has remained in my bag since I bought it. So this is in my purse almost every single day. It has kind of taken over the place of the paper shoot, but I still tend to bring this with me, put it in my bag, and I have a great time with it when I do use it. So I'm happy with both, but I hope that this video helped you decide which one you want and which one is more interesting to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am a concert photographer, so most of my videos are about concert photography, and I'm hoping to bring these cameras with me to a concert and see what that looks like sometime soon. But for now, I hope this video helped you if you're trying to decide between the two cameras. That's it for now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.